Hi, my name is Yael Wise. In this video, we're gonna talk about the tax savings that you're gonna get through home ownership. So how does it work with your taxable income? So basically, there's something called your gross income. Now, the government is not gonna be taxing you off your gross income. They're gonna be taxing you off your adjusted gross income, your AGI. Now, they're gonna take off different things. So they're gonna take off your whatever you contribute to your IRI account, they're gonna do whatever you contribute to your HSA, health savings or retirement savings, college tuition, business expense, and interest payments on your monthly payments for, home, for your mortgage, plus your property taxes. But we need to compare something. We need to compare aside from your interest payments and your property taxes, we need to compare your standard deduction. So the government always gives off the top a $25,000 deduction anywhere. So you get to choose $25,000 deduction or interest payments on the mortgage plus property tax plus charitable contribution. So let's actually look at the numbers and see what we can find. So the median price is $600,000 a month and with a 20% down at 7.5% interest rates, these are going to be your payments and $8,000 property taxes. So basically what you have is you have your mortgage payments. So with a loan of 480,000, what is going to be your interest payments on that? Let's have a look. So we poured off the amortization schedule and you can see on average, it's about $3,000 a month in the interest payments and your principal is about $350. So you're gonna take the $3,000 a month on your interest payments plus, so that's $36,000 a year, plus your property tax, which is $8,000, add them together and you're gonna get $44,000 a month payment. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna subtract that by the $25,000 standard deduction. So you're gonna get $19,000. Now what is your bracket of taxes? So let's look at the tax bracket uh, schedule and see what that is. So over here, as you can see, you're either in the 10, 12, 22, depends on what your income and is if you're filed jointly or separate. So say we're at the 22% tax bracket. So we're gonna take $19,000 times 22%, which is gonna bring you to about $4,100. Divide that by 12, and that's gonna take you to about $350 a month in tax savings. Now that is not including your charitable contributions. So if you're giving $500 a month, that's going to, again, bring down your gross income with those charitable contributions. So this video is not say, hey, go buy a house because you're gonna save money on it. This video is say, know exactly where your money's going and know what it's actually costing you. Because if we looked at the breakdown of a mortgage payment and you're seeing a number of 4,100 principal, interest, property taxes, and home insurance, the way that you could look at that is you can say, hey, it's not, $4,100, I'm gonna show you that screen again. It's not $4,100, right? It's actually 41, let's do $4,100 minus 350. Well, it's actually really 3750 because otherwise that money would have been going to the government and it wouldn't have been coming to me anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There's one caveat I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but there's a cap of um, the deduction of the interest payments is only up to a loan of 750000 So if you're taking out a $900,000 loan, it's not going to be all of that interest. It's only going to be the interest on the $750 a month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for more, and I'm here to help you in the home buying and selling process. Have a great day.